people. Welcome to the concert. I'd like to introduce you to the members of our rocking teenage combo tonight. Vince Sore Thumb Kaliuta on drums. Arthur Barrow on bass. Tommy Mars on keyboards. Mike Willis on guitar and vocals. Denny Wally on guitar and vocals. Peter Wolf on keyboards. Ed Mann on percussion. Wish I could see you all a little bit better. I got this light in my eyes. I know you must be really cute. Ready to rock? I know you're ready to rock. Well, here's a song that doesn't really rock at all. The name of this song is Dancing Fool. One, two, three, four.
at an Irish center. <laughs> it was a singles bar a Tuesday night. The moon was dim, the band was tight. <laughs> they did the bump together. What a splendid sight. Her teeth were white. It was ladies' night. It was She was an office girl. My name is Betty. Her favorite room was Helen Ray. They discussed the weather. Just a little too short, her jokes were dumb, and her favorite sport was hockey in the winter. Hey, watch <laughs> He was duly impressed and was quick to suggest any sport with a pop had to be about the best as he jabbed his elbow in it. Later on, they went off to where the music was soft. The candles were dripping. They saw the real hippie who delivered their dinner. The rice was brown, and soon they found that the crowd around that had jammed the room. Well, it seemed to be getting thinner. Oh, 
do is grease it down and everything is fine. Keep it greasy so go down easy. Keep it greasy so go down easy. Keep it greasy so go down easy. Pull it over and grease it down and tuck it through the hometown. The girl don't need no fancy grease to get herself some rump release. Any kind of blue will do. Maybe from another part of you. Blue from the north. Blue from the south. Take a little slobber. From the side of your mouth. Roll it over. Grease it down. That crazy screaming sound
for something a little bit weird. Can we please have your undivided attention? We're gonna perform a tricky one now. Got an extra drumstick. Got another drumstick. Okay, thanks. 
The name of this piece is Moe's Vacation. And we certainly hope that Mo will take one.
there. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. This is the romantic part of our program. Now, a lot of you people that go to rock concerts all the time know that when the English group comes to town, the romantic part of the show is the part where the guy who plays the fuzz tone guitar gets out the acoustic guitar and plays his favorite chords for you. This is different though, this is real romance. See, I even have these underpants to prove it. Now look, rock and roll has gotten entirely too preposterous over the years. Do you feel it? Of course you do. How many of you people remember a song that was recorded not too long ago? No, shut up. The name of the song was I Mean You. Remember that song? Let's face it, folks. The title itself is extremely offensive. I mean, if you were a teenage girl, do you want that in you? You do, right? No, anyway, when I heard the name of that song, I said, something must be done. So I went to my laboratory, boiled up some ammonia, got out a pair of ladies' underpants, just like Wagner used to do. You know, for those of you who don't know this, Richard Wagner was an underpants fetishist. It's a true story. Old Dick, as they called him back there in Bavaria. Dick used to keep a pair of these suckers, not these nylon jobs, but the real silk ones, the nice ones, you know, and kept the underpants in the drawer of the desk where he used to write. And he'd go, da 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 He'd write that down, reach in the drawer and go, and then, da 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 Well, that's the way it was in the olden days. Today in the world of rock, just this. Nothing, nothing too dramatic, just, Nice ones. Okay, the name of this song is I Have Been In You. Time to wash your stinky hand. Go ahead and roll over. 
little girl I told you was going in you again I wasn't lying, was I? You know, when you first invited me over to your teenage room with your Jimi Hendrix poster and your little incense sticks and your... Boy, I just love coming over here and listening to that Eagles album. It really turns me on. What, you say you have some ABBA hits you want to play for me? Sure, go ahead. Fernando. You're probably wondering why I would come over to your place anyway, you know, since I'm English and everything and really cute. And just as you would presume, us cute English people have so much on our minds and we're so busy. You know, every once in a while I like to take time on my busy English rock and roll star schedule to go to a teenage girl's house and, you know, see what she looks like with her clothes off. Oh, it's not because I want your body. I really respect you for your mind. I know how smart you are. Oh, yes, it's tough working in a boutique. The math that you have to know and everything, and oh, how strong you have to be standing up all day in those black boots. I really respect you. You're definitely the mainstay of our economy. But the real reason I like you, honey, is because you're dumb enough to buy records by English people like me, and we want you to keep on doing it. So I thought I'd come over here and kind of... I thought I would just come over here and go in you a few times just to re remind you of the uh, title of our song and hope that you'll tell all your girlfriends not only will you tell them to buy our record but to go over to the uh, hall and suck off the crew while they're tearing down the equipment. And one other thing, honey, now that we've gotten... Oh, don't, don't weep, don't weep. When it's true love, I know it makes you weep, but don't weep. Got one more thing to say to you.
Frankie. They get Computer Collective. They get you so crazy until your head goes through the ceiling.
it wouldn't be right for me to tell you tonight. It's good for you. It's good for you. It's good for you. Let go of it now. proceeded to rub it all into his beady little eyes with a vigorous circular motion hitherto unknown to the citizens of Poughkeepsie but destined to take the place of the mud shark in your mythology. The vigorous circular motion, here it goes, rub it! You're gonna get the whole thing, don't worry about it. Now listen, this is the kind of band that goes all the way, you know what I mean? But this, in this particular area, 
Come on, help me out with this thing now. This is the part where I pounce on him. Stand up and help me pounce on this son of a bitch. Stand up. And then I pounce. And I pounced again. I jumped up and down the chest of him. I injured the fur trapper. Everybody. I pounced. And I pounced again. I jumped up and down the chest of him. Great googly moogly, I injured the fur trapper. Okay. So and dangling off of his little hairs around his eyes here, he was hurt. And then it occurred to him that something was really wrong. He said, I can't see. I can't see. I can't see. I can't see. He took a dog to snow cone and stuffed it in my right eye. Dog do snow cone and stuffed it in my other eye. In a husky wee wee, I mean the wee wee is blinding me, and I can't see temporarily. It was at that time that the fur trapper remembered the ancient Eskimo legend, wherein it is written on whatever it is that they write it on up there. That if anything bad ever happens to your eyes as the result of some sort of conflict with anyone named Nanook, the only way you can get it fixed up is to go trudging across the tundra, mile after mile, trudging across the tundra, right down to the parish of St. Alfonso. Now you know St. Alfonso is the patron saint of the smelt fishermen of Portuguese extraction, and here he is, his representative here on earth. Hitman with the St. Alfonso Lick. I'm 
his cock. He was delighted as it stiffened and ripped right through his sock. Oh, Saint Alfonso would be proud of me. Shouted down the block. Come on, smoke this gum. Now come spare for two to four. Don't you leave my sleazy pancakes just for Saint Alfonso? There's a light from the white. We're making fortune by the night. There's a light from the white. We're making fortune by the night. There's a light from the down. There's a light from the down. There's a light from the down. Good morning, your highness. I want you in some shoes. Good morning, your highness. I want you in some shoes. Alfonso really loves it when he rubs in for it. I have seen him rubbing it. I have seen him rubbing it. I have. I have. I seen him stroke his wee. It was teeny.
Thank you, 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 thank you. Alright. Now listen, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play some other stuff. You know, it's not like your normal kind of encore material. I know you guys wanna jump up and down, but hey. Take it easy, you know. We got some other neat stuff for you. I'd like to uh, just pretend like we were gonna do another little tiny show right now, okay? Sit back down. We're gonna start this part of our tiny show off with a, a song that uh, was originally from the Burn Weenie Sandwich album. The name of this song is Little House I Used to Live In. Music to call. 
comfort me in the night, music to jack me off, music to live by. You know, you really can't have sex anymore because there's no involvement in 1978. Think about it, what it will be in 
Jesus, baby, they're all You're really kind of stupid and ugly, too Girl, you should be the smoking pajamas You might start a fire and burn your face Maybe you would turn to another You could go unnoticed in such a place You ain't really made for being out in the street much hope for a fool like you Cause if you play the game You will get through Kaliuta, Arthur Barrow, Tommy Mars, Ike Willis, Denny Wally, Peter Wolf, and Matt. Thanks for coming to the show. Good night. Thank you.
tempo pra 